When you think about acute bronchitis, know its definition has three elements. It's an infection of the lower respiratory tract, causing inflammation of the bronchi, usually from a viral cause. It lacks evidence of pneumonia, and it's only considered acute bronchitis in a patient that does not have COPD. Pathophysiologically, acute inflammation of the bronchial walls is triggered by a variety of viruses, which causes increased mucus production and edema. This leads to the hallmark productive cough seen in this condition. Bronchitis specifically refers to infections in the bronchial airways, whereas pneumonia denotes infection in the lung parenchyma, resulting in consolidation of the affected lobes. Remember, parenchyma refers to the functional tissue of an organ, like the alveoli. This is in contrast to something like the airways or the pleural linings. Let's further distinguish its clinical features from pneumonia. Acute bronchitis causes limited, non-specific respiratory symptoms, including persistent cough, excessive sputum, and mild dyspnea. Conversely, pneumonia is characterized by systemic features associated with a true parenchymal infection like rigors, tachycardia, persistent fevers, and hypoxemia. An important note is that purulent or colored sputum is not predictive of a bacterial infection. Finally, my last core element of the definition says acute bronchitis occurs in the absence of COPD. This is because a patient with these symptoms would just be considered to have a COPD exacerbation instead of acute bronchitis. When investigating acute bronchitis, the goal is to exclude other diagnoses and identify underlying infective agents if this will change management. Consider this approach in a patient who has a compatible syndrome. Perform a history and examination to identify other mimics like heart failure, reflux, or an ACE inhibitor cough. Perform a COVID-19 swab if possible, Consider pneumonia as a diagnosis if a patient has deranged vitals, clinical signs of consolidation, or significant systemic symptoms. Now, if you do have a suspicion for pneumonia, then perform a chest x-ray and other appropriate investigations. If not, consider testing for pathogens that would change management. For example, influenza swabs or a swab for pertussis. As you can see, a chest x-ray is not indicated for a patient with acute bronchitis, but if pneumonia is suspected, then you should use the chest x-ray to confirm the diagnosis. The management of acute bronchitis is relatively simple. Exclude important differentials like pneumonia, provide education that it's a self-limiting condition caused by viruses in 90% of cases, Explain that antibiotics are not indicated as a result. Set expectations about recovery. For example, the cough on average lasts two to three weeks, and 90% of patients have cough resolution by four weeks. Finally, encourage the patient to represent if they clinically deteriorate. Let's recap with my mnemonic. Acute bronchitis goes viral because it's not PC. This reminds me it's a viral infection that occurs without evidence of pneumonia or COPD. It can be managed with the five E's, exclusion, education, explanation, expectations, and encouragement. Thanks for watching Townsend Teaching.